So uh, YSTN Co-Create is a part of a project that's part research, part video based that I've been working on for about a year. Um, it looked at the social sustainability or the sense of community within the York University Sheridan College Joint Program in Design. And I graduated from that program with my co-founder on this project about um, last, last June. So I was the one who ended up with some post-grad homework there. Um, just to give you an idea though, YSDN, uh, the York Sheridan program, is a four-year bachelor degree. And it takes place on both the York Keele campus and the Sheridan College Oakville campus. So that is pretty representational of some of the issues that we wanted to, uh, some of the challenges we wanted to tackle with the project. Um, the project came out of the first ever sustainable design course in the program. And we looked at the triple bottom line, we looked at the social, the economical, uh, the environmental, but we were really interested in the personal aspect that went with the social side of things. So just a quick overview of the scope. We conducted more than 24 interviews with 35 plus community members. And so that includes students, uh, professors, so faculty, administration, and it wasn't just the York Sheridan program in undergraduates, but also the masters. Uh, Ryerson University interior design students we talked to. We also talked to uh, exchange students from the Bauhaus in Germany. And, and the end goal of the whole project was to create a series of video shorts where we could share all these opinions and so that my co-founder and I would have something to pass on after we graduated from the program. Um, so the more we talked to people, the more we started to realize that it wasn't really about finding solutions out of this research. It was really about advocating for a more co-creative approach to the program, to problem solving within the, that system. And the more people we talked to, the more we realized what exactly that system might be and what it might mean. And so the project became a sustainable initiative within itself because just by talking to people, just by interviewing them, they started thinking about their own experiences and ideas and really hoped that that meant that they were gonna pass it on and start generating the type of culture we were interested, interested in. Um, so what we found with the project was there's a lack of communication. It's always a big problem. Uh, one of the major issues is that there wasn't any particular channels of communication. There wasn't too much depth to it. Maybe it was uh, just email. There's also a lack of social space. So you have two different campuses, and that meant that the environments were very, very work focused, not somewhere that you could informally get to know people on the student end of things. And there was also a lack of information sharing. So it was challenging. It's sort of like there was this unknown person who was going to tell you how things worked, but that person never really existed. <laughs> and so the flip side of that, we learned a lot about the administrative side of things and how there's not really any consistency you can rely on on the student end because they're only there for about four years, so that's a challenge. It's also challenging because the students, um, as time goes on, they, it seems to be less and less of a really solid commitment from the, on their part. And that could have something to do with the commuter culture, with the lack of environment, with certain aspects of the design process that maybe encourage an individualistic approach rather than a collective approach. So, for example, nobody really would talk in group critiques uh, because they didn't feel comfortable with one another. And the fact that a lot of people would just come into class and then leave class, there's nothing to say that you could actually build a, a greater bond with these people. There's also very little clear goals or direction. So on one hand that means that you don't really, you're not really identifying or tackling the problems together, but it also means that you can't really celebrate the successes either. Um, and the, that was, we found that out a lot by talking to profs, where they might be in the classroom right next door to a gold mine of information in their peers but they weren't aware of it. Uh, students or professors, they didn't even know that they might have been working on similar problems in a lot of situations. So, uh, in the end, uh, if, if I've learned nothing else from this project, it's that you should be constantly sharing, constantly trying to build the relationships that you truly believe in. And by doing that, we can sort of come together to be able to tackle the bigger problems at hand. 
Since graduating, uh, I've been working on the YFCN co-create project on and off and trying my hand at video editing. I should probably note I've never, ever done any video editing before, so this was my first foray into documentary, and so it's taken a little while, but we're getting there. Um, one of the things that I discovered along the way was something called service design, which I'm hoping will d define itself for you momentarily, but maybe not. Um, the idea of service design, which is big in the UK and the, the Europe, was that you could design an experience, you could design a system, you could design the way something worked, and this is much more prevalent in areas like uh, healthcare and transportation. So TTC, yeah, they should, they should get in on that. Um, and I was amazed to find that this existed because I've never learned about it. So it is a collaborative process. It does, it does lend itself to the co-creative approach that we were looking at. And I thought that design education or education in general was almost the perfect opportunity to put this into action. Especially with designers, you already have that culture in place where you believe in the similar types of values, and yet, I don't know, maybe they need just a little bit of a push to get there. So I've been working with them since then. Um, and I did want to give a shout out. This is the design gradu graduation show from last year that I was a part of. This year, um, this year they're gonna, it's going to take, pa take place at the distillery district from April 15th to 17th. And you can see how important core creation is because these 90 to 120 students or so have to raise $50,000 to put on their own grad show and do everything themselves. So, yeah, I hope you had a good experience, good story from this, and my presentation.